Hi, I'm Susan Feller, and this video is to introduce you to one of the very many um, group exhibits that are often at Rug Hooking Week at Souter Village. This one is featuring the Hooked at Sea um, Windjammer experience, and it's coordinated by 207 Creatives. And I have with me Ellen Marshall and Beth Miller, and I'd love to hear from them. First, if Ellen would give us some background as to how Hooked at Sea happened. Sure, I'm Ellen. And being from Maine, our original group of three, through some networking, um, found Annie, who was the co-captain of the Riggin. And they, the Riggin, the schooner Riggin, has hosted knitting courses in the past. And she thought that this would be a great fit to have a rug hooking cruise. So that's that's how we ended up on the rigging. And I think what's fabulous about the rigging is it's Maine, it's going out in the wind jammer, it's historical, and you're um, absolutely correct having our traditions of rug hooking on such a beautiful ship and, and the new experience for all of the sailors to uh, to be together stuck on a ship, which is really fun and getting on and off uh, at different spots, depending on where the wind took us. So Beth, if you could uh, talk to us about how you uh, come up with the different instructors. We have the ship, now we need um, instructors. Yes, that's right. So um, the initial phase of thinking of instructors is pretty subjective. Ellen and I think of instructors uh, whose work we find engaging um, and whose work we think would expand the uh, creative um, thinking patterns of our guests. So um, Susan, of course, you were one of our instructors. Um, we had Maggie Benonomy the first year and we had Haley Perry last year and this year we're gonna have Meryl Cook. Mm -hmm. And um, what we have found on board is that when, when we have instructors, who ask the students to go outside of their normal boundaries and outside of their comfort zones. Um, don't bring a set pattern, but just ask them to do designing, which some of them come on board and they think, oh, I, I can't do that. But as you know, Susan, they soon find that they can. Um, that's pretty much how we, we choose our instructors. And then of course, after we have a short list of instructors that we would love to invite, we have to find instructors that are willing to spend four days on a schooner with us in Maine. So that's that's pretty much the process. And the first question that every instructor asks, including myself, is seasickness? What's that all about? <laughs> or what is this experience? So we ask the questions that everyone who's going to sign up ask um, initially. Um, and it's really exciting. And then how do you create a classroom experience, but it's not. And this isn't the only thing that everyone's learning about. So Ellen, I think I've, I've le led into the questions as, a, as someone who wants to sign up for this. What am I going to pack for these classes? How do you do it? Well, we all that? know as rug hookers that people carry a lot of stuff with them and they have their own personal frames and their own personal this and personal that that they like. But because we have such a con compact space, we decided to provide canvas zippered handled canvas bags, folding hardwood, lovely lap frames, and all of the materials and supplies that you would need for anybody's given project. The only thing that we would ask people to bring is their own favorite hook. So that way everything is contained. You can zip it up, not have to worry about it, and pack it in your cabin or leave it out on deck, whatever, whatever you wanna do. And I recall, uh, actually I have mine. Um, it's beautiful and it has a, a stencil on it of a sailing sailboat. And it also had my name tag on it. So if I left it on, on board or anywhere, um, right. everyone would know that was mine. So That's that right. was really helpful. <laughs> Beth, I understand um, what was really helpful for everybody 
it, besides listening to us talk about it, is you've prepared a slide presentation, some images of a few of the rugs that'll be in the show, and also just the feeling of being on the J and E Riggin. So could you do that for us? Sure. All right. Go to the beginning. <laughs> so I prepared, um, we have a little preview of the show that we're going to have at Rug Hooking Week at Slaughter Village. Um, these are some of the sailors that have been with us before. Um, and this is just some of the work they've done. Um, and you'll, you'll kind of see that everybody kind of has their own style. And these are things that were either done on board or inspired by the classes on board. Leah actually put a really nice um, tag on the back of hers to show, you know, where it was hooked and kind of help her remind her of the whole experience. Stacy's actually um, going to be sailing with us this year and she's already inspired. So I also have some pictures of um, just from the trip itself. At the end of each trip, there's always a group picture. This is um, one of ours. We learn on deck. It's really a wonderful experience. It's different than uh, any other classroom you've ever been in. We always try to rope the captain into the activity. And he was really a good sport about this and he was actually doing pretty well too. You have the opportunity to help sail the ship. You don't have to, but you certainly may. The food is amazing. Um, it's cooked on an antique wood stove in the galley below. We also stop on a main island one night and we have a huge all you can eat lobster bake. There really is all you can eat lobsters. Um, every morning, every evening, you'll be treated to a beautiful sunrise or sunset. Often people are milling about on deck uh, with coffee very early in the morning. If we're in a harbor where the lobster boats are going out, you can watch that. Um, the scenery along the Maine coast is just absolutely beautiful. I think it's one of the reasons that Maine is being featured this year at Rug Hooking Week. And then we have some personal experiences as well. Um, you can see that on this one, this is Sonia Ayo. She was a student of Susan's and um, she was a student who got on board really not having confidence that she could design. And um, you can see from this um, that not only was it about learning to see and look at things differently, but she got over her initial intimidation um, in this and has gone on to be a really accomplished rug hooker showing her pieces. And then this is another personal experience um, from a sailor who's gonna be sailing with us again this year. Um, I like that she says that we foster um, an atmosphere of creativity and acceptance. We have all levels on board um, and nobody is made to feel uh, any less than anyone else. Uh, everyone's creativity is respected and encouraged. So these are our contact. Um, if anyone would like to sail with us this year, we actually still have spaces left, which is extremely unusual. You can go to 207creatives.com or contact us at 207creatives at gmail.com um, in order to get more information. If you'd still like to join us, you can. Thank you. I think that gave us a really good feeling of being out there. And I will share that for me, having been on the um, sea, especially at night, you, you can even sleep on deck if you want. And I hadn't realized that, so I didn't come totally prepared. But each night I did uh, take a, a bedroll up a little bit and I got cold at midnight one night and one o'clock the next night I came down. But it, it's just hauntingly, absolutely eerily beautiful out at sea and in the harbor, it's so quiet. And now I go out every night and make sure that I look up at the sky. 
because mm. of the trip. So between the two of you, I'd really like to know what, as Kathy Wright reached out to you, Beth, to invite you to create this exhibit. What was the feeling of that when the two of you talked and, and realized, wow, you know, at Rug Hooking Week, we can be recognized? I think it was great. I mean, people were thrilled to be able to showcase what they had learned um, with the different instructors at sea. Um, so I think, I think they're really pleased to be able to do that. What about you, Beth? Yeah, I mean, I think it's an opportunity to, to show that um, rug hooking really belongs in all settings, right? Like this is a very unusual setting for rug hooking instruction and, and everything. And I, I think it's just um, a further, a further affirmation that, um, you know, you really can take the craft into new territory with new inspirations and new experiences that maybe you can't have any other way. That's, that's a good description. And I'm really looking forward to seeing the results uh, and your social media feeds all while uh, sailing in August this year mm -hmm. with Merrill Cook and uh, what is it? Um, women at hooked at sea wild women at wild sea. women wild <laughs> women at sea and oh, boy, are we looking forward to that <laughs> that's just gonna be marvelous well as beth said there are a few spaces left um this year but please do consider if this has wet your appetite at all um 207 creatives.com follow their social media the uh the j and e riggan is scheduled for next year again to to go out thank you both Thank you. Thank you.